Greetings, Portia Zarea. So now that the masses have calmed down about little Bootsy being free, I like to address it. Now don't misunderstand me, I'm not addressing little Bootsy on a personal level. I want to discuss the disconnection in our communities from reality. I posted a status on Facebook in regards to the little Bootsy phenomenon, and again, let me stress, I don't have a problem with the brother. I'm sure that he speaks his truths about life on the streets, and that's fine. What, why, how, when he was arrested or locked up is irrelevant. My complaint is this. So many are screaming, free Bootsy, Bootsy free, yet so few are screaming justice for all those who have been murdered because of their skin color. I like to call it ignorance at its best. Trayvon Martin, Alfred Wright, and countless others who have, who have lost their lives because of hate. Simply a community lost. The problem is no one cares about the next person. Everyone is out for self. We are a selfish people when we need to be a selfless nation. Why is it that a person's respect levels are based off of the size of their wallets, their closet, their address, what's in their garage, and sadly, what's in their pants? Throughout history, major change came when people were well respected before what was in their minds, what came out of their mouths, what spewed from their pens, and the paths that they created for others to succeed. A selfless generation. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm tired of the ignorance, the pettiness, and the lack of ambition in our communities. I hear the excuses. And the blames, I recognize the insecurities of those who have been made to believe that they are not great. We have been deceived and robbed of one of, from, of, one of humanity's most valuable treasures, knowledge. Our histories have been buried, and there are those who are willing to accept that as a loss. But I will not be quiet. We are led into the dungeon filled with worthless treasures while they rob us of our thirst for wisdom. For resurrection of our communities, we must first wake up. Stop dreaming and start doing. Stop talking and start moving. Until then, we will remain last. How can one glorify unrighteousness? And shun righteousness and truth for clout and to be a boss. Then turn around and make excuses for their ignorance. Then you expect other nations to acknowledge you, respect you, and justify you when you don't do it for yourself. Ignorance at its best. Hey, I hate to say it, but that's why they call you nigger. You call yourself one, you act like one, then you are one. You are what you act like. You are what you think. Prime example, twerking. The degrading of the female body. Disgracing humanity's birthplace by lusting over the part of the body that expels filth. Then turn around and justify it by saying, our ancestral African royal nations did this dance as a praise and tradition. True, our ancestors were kings and queens and royal rulers and overseers of kingdoms. But were there not fools in the king's court? And these fools are running our nations because the kings and queens are not standing up and leading. Why? Are you afraid? Are you not seeing it? Are you not hearing it? What's going on in our communities? This has little to do with just race, but everything to do with humanity itself. Stand up. We cannot have one without the other. We have to have unity. 
It must be unity. The fight against ignorance, discrimination, injustice belongs to every nation. Black, white, brown, yellow, red, everyone. Achieve this unity and we will achieve the greatest nation. Now that's television. Let's just make sure it's the right one. Portia Zaraya.